In this tutorial I'll be explaining some of the very basic shortcuts available within Adobe After Effects. This will allow for an easier workflow and allow you to explore the interface more freely. So first of all we'll open up Adobe After Effects. The first shortcut is to open a new project within Adobe After Effects. This is Command Option N or Control Alt N for Windows users. This opens up an entirely new project within Adobe After Effects. The next shortcut is Open Projects. This will allow you to open up a new project from your document finder. This is Command O for Mac users or Control O for Windows users and this will bring up your document finder and will allow you to look through the do your documents and open up your chosen file. The next shortcut is the project settings. This is command option shift K or control alt shift K for Windows users and this brings up a separate dialog box for your project settings. Here you can change the time display style from either time code which will display the timeline within in seconds or frames which will display each, each frame. The next shortcut allows you to create a whole new composition within your Adobe After Effects project. This is Command N or Control N for Windows users. From here you can change the name, the presets, dimensions of the composition you can either slide the numbers along or click on them and enter the values you can also change the frame rate for the composition the standard frame rate is 24 frames per second you can also change the resolution from full half third quarter or custom you can change the start frame the duration this is displayed within frames, but if you change the project settings to time, it will display it within seconds. The next shortcut is for a solid layer. This will create a solid, solid layer for your composition. This is Command Y or Control Y for Windows users. This will bring up another dialog box so you can change the name. One. Here you can change the width and the height using the same method. This is measured in pixels or you can change it to inches or millimeters. Pixels are mostly used. The most important setting is the make comp size. This will make the solid layer the same size as the composition. Here you can change the color either clicking on the colour box to bring up the whole selection or using the eyedropper tool which will allow you to choose a colour from the environment so once that's all selected press OK and you'll notice that a new solid layer has been created over your composition the next layer is a text layer this is command alt shift t or control alt shift t for windows users and this will create a new text box within your composition. Once you've typed in, just use the selection tool so that you are no longer within the text box. And this will create a new text layer. An important feature for Adobe After Effects is allowing you to import files from your computer. This is Command I or Control I from Windows and this will bring up your finder or my documents for Windows and will allow you to explore the folders and allow you to import files once you have found the file that you wish to import press open and it will open it into your library there you can also select multiple files by dragging or pressing command and clicking multiple or control 
multiple. The next shortcut is for import multiple files. This is Command Alt I or Control Alt I for Windows, and this will open up the same directory folder. But once you click on the file that you like and press Open, the fold the dot the directory will open up again, and will carry on doing so until you press cancel or press escape to close it and then it will no longer bring it back up the next shortcuts are general shortcuts this is the undo which is command Z or control Z for Windows and this will undo the last thing that you have created within After Effects the next shortcut is the redo this will reinstate what you have just undone using the undo function. This is Command Shift Z or Control Shift Z for Windows. The next shortcuts are the preview shortcuts. The start stop preview is the space bar. This previews the composition within the timeline. As you can see at the bottom, it's displayed by the playhead. Another preview setting is the RAM preview, which is Control O or <clears throat> for both Mac and Windows. This will preview the composition within real time. This will also preview any audio used within the composition. These next shortcuts are for saving your work within Adobe After Effects. The first shortcut is for save this is command s or control s for windows this will bring up a separate dialog box which will allow you to choose your destination folder when you first save a project for the first time it will use the save as function save as function which is command shift s Control shift s in windows this will allow you to save the document under a new name and a new folder and as you can see here two separate files with two different names the next save function which is quite important when using complex effects is the increment and save this is command option shift s or control alt shift s in windows and this allows you to save the same file under the same name by seeing numerical order so it will create a new file with the same name in a different number so here we have shortcut video 2 shortcut video 3 if I just open up after effects again and save it a few times you can notice that it says shortcut video 6 save it again shortcut video 7 shortcut video 8 I'll just show you here we have multiple different save files all under the same name but in numerical order okay and that is the end of the shortcut video please leave your comments below the video 